Hello, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Uh, what I'd like to do is demonstrate multi-camera angles, multi-camera shooting, and see how that, that works. And I have, uh, I have my two cameras set up here. Uh, they're both, uh, I have the A6000 with the, the uh, fifth, uh, 16 to 50 millimeter uh, kit lens, and then I have the A6500 on this side, also with the, the 16 to 50 millimeter kit lens. I, I think they're really, really excellent to use in a multi-camera shoot, especially since the, they're very reasonable, very easy to get. They, they work uh, with the Sony bodies. The, the autofocus is just tremendously fast. So, I mean, I can just do this or I can do that and uh, it focuses in and, or, or, or it will come back and focus on me. I'm not sure about the framing. I'm still trying to get my <laughs> get myself a monitor. So I'm just going to adjust this slightly there. Let make it look like I'm shooting looking at myself and I've got this little my other little, little Sony pocket camera so that I can reflect back and see what we're doing here so I'm gonna have actually four cam four cameras <laughs> and then uh, I'm gonna edit that all together and uh, see we'll see what we get um, so I've got the webcam over there and it's all gonna be well this one is uh, 7 720p that's 7 1080 this is gonna be 1080 that's gonna be 1080 and uh, then I'm going to do multi-camera editing in Sony Vegas 14 Pro and uh, add just the the sound, one sound uh, track for the whole thing. And uh, uh, yeah, speaking of sound, this is my, this is my second, my backup uh, uh, microphone. I'm really sad to report that my Blue Yeti uh, died. <laughs> and I was just about to start making some tremendous use of it. And uh, it, w it was just really... A sad day all around and this one I last couple of days I've had some real problems with it I for some reason there's like a, a lot of static in the background and um, I'm hoping that I've tracked it down but anyway let's let's get on with the, our little experiment here and I'm just gonna start firing now this is my this <laughs> have I got anything uh, it looks it's a bit messy but but you can see um, so here we are I'm recording now so that is my 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 a6000 uh, there is the webcam and oh let me move my myself I uh, <laughs> yeah yeah and uh, this is this over here is the a6500 and I've got this on a little Manfrotto stand this is a on a on a uh, actually this is a, a clone of, of some other uh, it's called a King Joy but this is I think it's a ripoff of a Oh, I can't remember what it what it is, but anyway, the real one is called an Oban TT three hundred, and it is I'm, I mean, having the, this this Kingjoy version in my possession and looking at it, it's I swear it's indistinguishable from the other one. So, uh, yeah, an Oban TT three hundred is the is what the original is called. But the the real one cost uh, seventy bucks or something. This was twenty five dollars, and it's, it, it, to all intents and purposes, it's exactly the same thing. So, so uh, there we are. So then I'm just going to give myself a double perspective there. I'll look into that camera. One, two, three. I'm looking at about three minutes now in time. Hello, 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 <laughs> and hello to you too, folks. So I think we're done and uh, done. Now I'm going to uh, turn off all the cameras and I'll be back in the editor and we'll see how uh, how we set that up then. So in Vegas 14 tuned. Pro and I've got the four tracks, four video tracks laid out uh, along with their audio. So then the, this is, uh, I can't remember, well I could look at the properties but I don't want to, I, I just want to do this as quickly kind of as possible and initially when I first clap, this is how how I I establish the uh, the sync. So if I stretch that out, you can see the three little the three little uh, marks here, which are the sharp clap. So that's one clap, two clap, three clap, and I can mute each individual so you can see the different angles and so on. So if I mute that one, that one's dark because it's way over here. So we go back over to this side. That should. Oh, I muted that one too. Haha. -ha, there we go. <laughs> so then, so that's the that's the the little pocket camera camera view. And now I'll just show you how 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 this is done. Now, um, 
I'm not going to really do this for real right now because I want to take my time and set it up right. But um, um, what I normally do is I delete all the audio tracks except the one that I'm mainly going to use. And that's going to be the main track that I recorded off the off the uh, the USB microphone here rather than the camera audio, which normally isn't is going to be as good. Um, so that's uh, having that said that. Um, but I, what we first do is create a group so that they're all locked together. So we, we use this little thing. I don't even know what these are called. Selection edit tool. Yeah. So you get the selection edit tool, highlight them all, press G for group, and now they're grouped together. So then we have here, this is the, um, auto ripple. I, I'm sorry if this is, if this is overly familiar for some of you who are experienced but there's always like a few people who are just tuning in and want to get up to speed quickly so now since i know they're all aligned i can just pick some random point and um, um cut so that they're stacked all together so let's let's do that we'll do a cut like right here uh i'm gonna have to find a better place to cut because uh, <laughs> My intro, I'm not really super, super enthused with it. And some of the, a couple of the angles, I, it, it just is just sort of, I, you know, makes me conscious of my, my body a little bit more than I'd like to be. So, uh, so what I do is I do, I do a cut here, highlight the, the section we're getting rid of, delete. And now the whole thing is, oops, I lost the, tr the bottom track. So now, <laughs> gosh, darn it undo delete event oh i see so this so we click on this control this ungroup that from this stuff here ungroup see it's, it's sometimes yeah it's sort of it's like pick and pick and play so delete and now let's uh, let's group them all together selection edit tool there we are selection group again so that uh the function so there so now they're all lined up nicely and now I can ungroup the individual audio tracks. So un and un, and we want to keep that one, but we're, uh, we'll ungroup that anyway, and then ungroup this one. So now we highlight this one with the control key. So control that one and that one, and now we can delete them all. They're all gone. Now let's delete the tracks. And I just do this because it makes it easier, easier to see. So now we have the video tracks uh, stacked together aside from this one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to there's another audio track below so i'm going to move that audio track there and move this track oh that's an audio track so delete track uh delete track delete track there we go and that's it so now everything should be perfectly aligned so now what we do is we highlight this control control whoops control right there Make sure that you don't move these sliders because that governs the opacity. And you don't want the other layers to start showing through for uh, our purposes here. So now there are these four tracks on the end here are highlighted and we're going to move to tools. Now there's a key, the key things, key. Uh, so it's control shift D, which enables multi camera editing. Now here's a little, a little tidbit, which, uh, um, uh, which is not every <clears throat> let me see in the normal uh studio versions or the movie studio the platinum versions multi-camera editing is not um as far as i know anyway not available but the short the keystrokes control shift d will still enable that so once you do that enable so now you see there's this this blue blue box boundary box surrounds the screen now we go tools again multi-camera and create multi-camera track so now we have the four and now this one is the last one here is black because it's only at the very far end so now we have the four the four tracks and what i can do very simply is hit play Hello, thanks for tuning in. And uh, today I'm going to do something a little bit. I should, I should, I well, should. I will mention that I, in my setup here, I've got the this this uh, 
the preview window, I've got it at the best quality. And I should, I should probably with four, uh, I should move it to, to good quality perhaps, eh? I don't know. I can't remember how to do that. Best. Anyway, I'll just leave it. But it, 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 depending on your your system, um, your, the the preview window may or may not uh, be able to keep up with uh, with with your uh, production. Let's say. Uh, but this this machine has got sixty five gigs of RAM. It's a uh, it's a uh, sixty eight hundred K. So it's got six cores and uh, everything is maxed out. So it should it should not have any issue. Uh, and it's using an M.2 drive as a scratch drive. So, um, and even so, it takes a little while for for everything to load into memory and, and, and get a grip on itself. And personally, you know, I, I might suggest that once you get the four tracks set up, uh, and initially, like this one's four minutes long, I think that's probably good enough. Uh, just set up the four tracks and then walk away for, you know, three, four, five minutes, whatever. So that everything can get loaded and, and everything can settle down before you attempt this. Now you can normally just sort of scrub through this quietly and then hit, use the mouse to do uh, an edit. So there, now that on the, on the timeline here, there's an edit and the camera angle has now changed. So if I go to this an angle now, then there's another cut and then the camera angle again has changed. I'm back to this one and then and so forth and so forth and the, the thing is what i find is really powerful is that i can press play and a lot of a lot of professional i can do this don't uh, care on for the those fly. lenses i can just play, uh, play and actually get rid of them quite quickly and, or they just the buy the bodies like but for, for so um yeah so then i'm gonna i'm just gonna edit this completely i'm gonna undo some of this stuff here because uh you know i just sort of did a couple of random cuts and I'm going to edit that together, add it, add it in this, in my second production, and then I'm going to, you know, you'll see the whole, the whole thing fly together, and I hope, uh, hope, it, <laughs> hope it turns out. Uh, so, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and in passing, thank you for watching. Bye for now.